That makes a lot of sense, Henry. You know, you've built your portfolio very, very quickly, very large in a very, very short period of time. So what's some of the best uh, advice that you can give for a new real estate investor getting started in today's market? Yeah, man. Uh, two things I think new investors should focus on. So one of the, the best parts about real estate is its flexibility, right? You heard me tell a story about buying a deal with $1,000, right? Because of the flexibility of real estate, you're able to do things like that. But the, the downside to real estate being so flexible is that that can be a distraction because there's so many ways to go about being an investor. And so when you're new, I think you need to narrow your focus in order to really get started. And so what I tell people, the two things to focus on when you're brand new are learn what a good deal is in your market. Because no matter what strategy you're using, whether you're going to flip, wholesale, wholesale, rentals, Airbnb, like it doesn't matter if you don't buy your deal correctly, then you don't have a deal, right? And so most important thing is know what a good deal looks like in your market. How do you learn that? Get into every real estate investor group you can, online, in person, doesn't matter. If people are investing in your neck of the woods, you need to be around them. And then you need to meet the successful ones and then go ask them, hey, tell me about your last deal. What's your last deal look like? What were the numbers? What was your deal before that? Tell me the numbers. You know, successful real estate investors like talking about their deals. So they'll tell you about their deals. And while they're telling you about your deals, you're building this rapport, you're building this relationship, but you're also learning what good deals in your market look like. Right. And so once you learn what a good deal in your market looks like, number two is you're going to need to learn how you're going to find good deals. Some people live in a market where you can jump on the MLS with a realtor and you can buy a good deal right off the MLS. That's awesome for them. That's not how it works for me. I have to find off market deals. And so I had to find an off market deal strategy that works for me. So research how you can find good deals. Pick one strategy, one, pick one that fits your personality and fits your budget, right? If you know you're not going to make the right amount of phone, uh, cold calls, because you're not going to be very good at it. Don't pick cold calling as your strategy, right? Like pick something that fits your personality and your budget that you can fund properly and then implement that one strategy until you find a deal. Once you land a deal, you'll be so motivated to figure out the rest. You'll be so motivated to go figure out how you're going to finance it, who's going to do the renovations, like all that stuff that doesn't matter until you have a deal. Don't worry about it until you have a deal because that's what's important. Mm -hmm.